Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rose, and in today's video, I am going to be testing out the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I had received this not too long ago. I know that it came out like a couple weeks ago, and I feel like anything, like if you don't do a review within a product coming out within like a week, it's old news already. But you know what? I'm gonna do this at my own pace, and I will also be comparing it to the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I still have a little bit left in this little guy right here. We're gonna be doing a wear test. I'm gonna wear it all day or for however long I can, and we will see which one holds up best. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now, very quickly, we're going to get into what this claims, how much it is, and all that jazz. This is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This retails for $10 on the Ulta website. This is a gel formula that grips makeup for long-lasting all-day wear. It moisturizes, it hydrates, gives your skin a soft focus type look. It does have hyaluronic acid in it, so it helps retain the moisture and plump in your skin, which is really nice. I've noticed that a lot of makeup products, whether it be primers or tinted moisturizers, foundations, I'm seeing a lot more skincare in it nowadays, which is like really nice because it's like a twofer i guess you can say it's good for all skin types it's cruelty free it doesn't have any parabens phthalates none of that gross crap that's what i really love about elf it's like super affordable and it doesn't have all that crap in it and you guys already know about the hydro grip primer this is supposed to do pretty much the same exact thing that this is supposed to do literally but this one is more i believe the full size version of this is like 30 dollars or something i don't know i can't remember it's been a while since i have used this so i'm gonna kind of be reviewing visiting this a little bit just to wait 30 seconds after putting this on to put my foundation on this is what the packaging looks like it's very simple very elf it's not too over the top or anything like that i did want to compare these two together at some point this is the elf jelly pop dewy primer this one doesn't claim to be dewy i have seen a couple of people or some people on youtube compare the two just by the thumbnail i haven't watched the video so let me know if you guys do want to see this I have my skin moisturized. I have all my skincare done. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the both of these on. I'm going to do one side e.l.f. and one side milk. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. one first. So the consistency is very gel-like and a little runny. Did one pump and I'm going to go ahead and just apply it literally everywhere. Okay, so this feels like the jelly pop one it feels just like a like a jelly moisturizer i guess you can say i'm very interested to see how well this is gonna grip my foundation and how long it's gonna stay not really sticky right now i know that with the milk one it's sticky right away it feels like glue pretty much it is getting stickier though so I'm gonna add a little bit more around my nose because I didn't really, just like a tiny, tiny bit. I want every square inch of my face covered. Okay, now it is sticky. I know you guys can hear that. Now let's go in and put on the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This one is thicker in consistency. It's not really as runny as the other one. Let's go ahead and apply this. No, this consistency right off the bat is a little thicker. Then the e.l.f. one, obviously it's gliding on really well. This one's really tacky and sticky right away. So you do have a little bit of dewiness on both sides. Okay, so just by feeling the both of them, there really isn't a difference between the two. The only difference that I noticed between the two is that one is a little bit more runny and a little bit more light than the other one. Look at that. You can see that. Look at how tacky that is on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and have you guys stay with me. I'm gonna finish off my base makeup. If you guys wanna skip forward, you can, but I do want to put on makeup over it just to see what it looks like, and you guys will get my kind of like first check-in to see how both of the primers did, and then we'll go ahead and do the wear test. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting on the rest of my makeup. I am gonna go in with my Dior Air Flash on both sides. This one's like my holy grail. I wear it all the time. I know that it lasts a really long time, and it is very lightweight with having coverage to it. Like, I mean, I'm not going out anywhere, but I just know that this one works for me. And I'm not gonna put on my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I love this foundation so much. Like, look at that coverage. 
but with it showing your skin still. It is just, oh, so gorgeous. With putting this on, I can definitely feel the primer underneath, but it's not like annoying. I can just feel that it's working on my brush. Oh my God. Okay, my skin looks so good on the milk side so far. I, what was I doing sleeping on that? Hold up, okay. And I'm gonna go in on the e.l.f. side. Okay, I can definitely, again, I can feel the grip on the e.l.f. side as well. I try not to drag my foundation. I try to press my foundation in. I feel like the foundation goes in a lot better when you do that. This foundation is so beautiful, you guys. It is really expensive, but oh, this is one that I'm like, you need to try out. Like, save up that coin, girl, and get this foundation. You will not be disappointed. Looking up close, honestly, both sides do look really good. No, okay, wait. Oh, okay, this is why I didn't wear it. I'm gonna scoot you guys in a little bit to show you guys what both of the primers did, because right now, <laughs> Uh, one is already not doing a good job. I have my foundation on and I'm going to show you guys what the dealio is, okay? So we do have the milk primer on this side and the elf primer on this side. Now if you guys look really closely, skin looks really good and glowy. It doesn't claim to like do any pore filling, but my skin looks like skin and like my skin just looks really good on both sides. Like they both did a really good job of gripping the foundation. However, right here in this area, like right in here, you can see that the primer is peeling away. And I think I remember that's the reason why I stopped using the milk primer. Everywhere else looks really good though, all over my face. It's just in that one area that I have the peeling on this side. So now I'm gonna put on my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I'm just gonna add a little bit through here. I don't really add a lot of contour. I just like adding contour just so that my bronzer has something to stick to. And I'm gonna move this up. I do also use my Revlon one, which is really nice as well. That one's not as smooth as this one, but it still does the same thing. It's um, the concealer, their new Skin Awaken concealer. Those I'm gonna be using today and I love them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another really quick check. Both sides are looking really good right now, but I have to be honest with you guys, I, I think I may actually like the e.l.f. side much better than the milk side, just because of the peeling, but I feel like my face just looks a little bit more put together and cohesive than this side does. I don't know, I don't know. I'm loving the e.l.f. one though so far and it's only $10, you guys, it's only $10. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Cheek Kiss Cream Blush in Nude Kiss and my Revlon Foundation Brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit to the cheeks here. I'm gonna go in with my Ofra Sitting Pretty Blush Palette and I'm gonna go in with the shade here. This is Peachy Paradise. I really like wearing peach with purple for some reason, or like peach with maroon. I think it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna go in underneath the eyes very quickly. I'm gonna go in with my Becca under eye corrector in light to medium, just a tiny bit, because my under eyes are looking a little crazy right now. I haven't used this in a minute. Look at how amazing that is. I look a little bit more awake now, and I only put the smallest amount when it comes to anything really, I only use the smallest amount, unless it's like setting spray, that's when I go in heavy. Look at how brightened my under eyes are. God, amazing. I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Color Stay Skin Awaken Concealer in 01 Universal Neutralizer. I do use another one, I do use 40, but I just don't wanna wear too much. I already have on a little bit here and I just feel like the neutralizer is like my perfect concealer shade and this one is really nice because it doesn't dry down too fast when you use it and the applicator is really small I guess you can say this applicator is very similar to the NYX one I haven't used that one yet though but like look at how fast that blends out and it still gives you the coverage that you want and it just brightens up your under eye I freaking love this concealer so much. And I've tried a decent amount of, you know, drugstore concealers, but for some reason this one's like, this one is it, you guys. Just, it's just gorgeous. I look so awakened right now, you guys. My makeup looks so good today. I woke up 
with his sore throat. Y'all, I woke up with a fucking sore throat. Please tell me that it's just like a sinus thing. I was like, I'm gonna look so tired in my videos. No, no. I think I look great today. Now I'm gonna go in with my Beach Cosmetics Belgian Waffle Palette. I'm gonna go in with the, both of these shades. This is Batter and this is Cinnamon. And I'm gonna bounce this in. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and look at what my makeup looks like right now with applying everything. Honestly, you guys, everything does look really good on the skin right now. There isn't any more pilling. The only area that I had pilling was in the mouth, like right here. And it looks really good right now. I'm using a brush and it's not moving around any of the primer or anything like that. So we are good to go so far. Yo, my pores look so good. I know this doesn't claim to help with pores, but like this center area right here looks so good right now. I'm gonna go back in to this palette here and I'm gonna go in with these two highlighter shades here. So it's powdered sugar and syrup. Just the tiniest bit, I really don't need this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. As you guys know, I don't really like to powder, but I think I am gonna powder today. For powder, I'm gonna go in with my Dior Powder No Powder Powder <laughs> in the shade too neutral. I'm just gonna add a little bit right here. I really love this powder because it is lightweight and it does look like no makeup, but it gives you a nice small radiance. I'm gonna add it in the areas that I would need. For my under eyes, I've been using this a lot lately other than my holy grail, which is the Beauty Bakery translucent powder. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder in Fair. This one is a little bit more yellow. It just gives you this airbrushed look and it doesn't look dry it's beautiful do you see how that brightens it up too oh i love this powder so much i'm gonna go ahead and put on a lippy i don't have my usual lip stuff here i'll just use this today i guess okay i'm gonna go in with my milani understatement lip liner in cafe ole i think that's how you say it i don't know i'm not sure this is gonna be my first time using it everyone's been using it on tiktok and talking about it and i'm like okay like let me go ahead and try that color because the color is not bad it is a little warm tone though it's not really showing up on me hold on let me feel my lips in okay it's warm tone and then i'm gonna go in with my kkw beauty nude lipstick in nude too it is gonna be a little bit more peachy i don't know why but i've been gravitating more towards like a peachy nude uh i love it I don't know what it is about peach lately, but it's just, it's just my color. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in Peach Bellini. Everything looks really good right now. I don't really have any gripes other than what I had mentioned earlier, and I'm really, really excited to see what the both of these primers are gonna do, how they're gonna hold up. Oh my God, I love my makeup so much right now. Oh, I love it. Sorry guys, I'm feeling myself a lot, but like I'm really, really happy with the way that this turned out and I haven't worn makeup in like a week and a half. It's been a minute. So it is 2.48 right now. I will probably check in with you guys after my kids come home from school around like four o'clock or something like that, just to give you one check-in. And then I will come in with my last check-in as late as I possibly can. So so I will see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, so I'm back. It is now 8.50. We are pretty much done with wearing makeup. I've had this makeup on for about seven hours and I am gonna let you guys know right now that the both of these primers did such a good job of wearing. So whatever they claimed is definitely true. My makeup still looks so good on both sides. I'm so happy with the both of them. I honestly can't even really tell the difference between the two if I'm being honest with you guys. I honestly don't think I've ever had primers or a primer work out so well. As you guys know, my skin is very dry. I do have dry patches. I do have a little bit of settling like my smile lines and my lines up here. I guess you can call them my expression lines. I do especially have a lot of dry skin around my nose and on my chin area. And I have to say, you guys, everything looks so freaking good with the e.l.f. primer. I I don't have any foundation settling into any of my lines in here, my lines up here, nothing really in this area here, around the nose area on both sides, no crusty dusty types 
situations going on right now. Again, the only thing that I'm running into is that there is pilling on the milk makeup side. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see. I really hope so. If I have to zoom in for you guys, like really close for you guys to see, I will do that. You have to be like at the right lighting, like right in this area here, it's pilling a little bit. And then on the side, you can see here, the makeup is still on really well. I did touch my face a lot. Now the question is, is it a dupe? Should y'all be saving your monies? Should y'all be saving your coins? And the answer is yes. I definitely think that the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is a dupe for the Milk Primer. Absolutely, 100%. This is going to be my number one. I'm gonna be using this so much. Go out and get this one. Literally, $10 does the same exact thing that this one does. I'm so, like, mind blown right now. Like, I freaking love this. I, yes, e.l.f., yes. All right, guys, so that is it for my video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Like I have already mentioned to you guys back in like October, November, December, all of last year, I will be doing declutters on my eyeshadow palettes, bases, foundations. I have a shit ton of lip products, but I have so much that I have to get rid of and make room for other stuff <laughs> anyway that is it for me you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one um pi pirate of halloran excuse me haha <laughs> both of the crime crimers <laughs>